uncomfortable does Ben Affleck look in that costume? <laughs> LOL. Uh, let's just dive right into it. Uh, it looks like he's actually turning his neck in the suit, which I didn't think he'd be able to do, because it, it, it looks like he, it, there's no way in heck that he can do that. Um, unless they're going to pass it off as, um, as the helmet being this leathery thing and that actually being his neck, which no way. Um, Wonder Woman, she is scrawny as heck. That's, it's not good, but I think that, uh, Gail Gadot could pull it off, I think. She Obviously, there's nothing to say about Superman, other than he looks like a Boy Scout. But, um, one thing is, is that Batman is taller than Superman, and bigger than Superman, more physically imposing than Superman. It's about gosh darn time. Christ. CHRIST! Though, if there's one thing that I can say about, um, Batman, if I, if I may, Batman looks like a straight-up beast. I swear to God. And Ben Affleck, he's bulked up a lot. With that, with, when he's obviously wearing padding, so with that bulkiness and the padding, straight up to Wayne Johnson, I mean The Rock, and this mother trucker. <laughs> WTF. LOL. SMH. Ooh, kill them! Oh my goodness, this is a shot. This is, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of epic shots in this movie. That's the one thing that I know that I can count on. Because uh, if there weren't, they wouldn't be showing us an, an epic shot like this if, if that was their money shot, if you know what I mean. Uh, it looks like, I'm sure you've heard this before, it looks like uh, Batman's wearing another suit underneath the armor. So he's not just wearing um, uh, metal armor like Tony Stark, which is that would that wouldn't be smart. I you know, would get like pinched in your balls or something. So you need some protective, um, not cups, but you need a protective fabric under the suit. Um, yeah, again, Batman looks taller than Superman, although he's wearing a, the the mech suit. So maybe that adds on some height. I don't know. It definitely adds up some bulk, obviously. Again, love the glowing eyes. So epic. Christ, CHRIST! It has been confirmed that Batman will be using kryptonite to fight Superman in the movie. Confirmed. In the suit that he's wearing right now in that picture, there's kryptonite in it. Now, in my dreams, I kind of envisioned Batman um, with um, kryptonite lining in his suit. Like a lining of green, glowing, kind of neon kryptonite kind of thing throughout his suit. Stupid, but... Sounded pretty cool in my mind. Um, yeah, uh, Batman's cape seems to be either ripped or in, in some type of aerodynamic kind of uh, design he has going on there. I don't know what. I don't know why he's even using a cape. <laughs> it's TBH. I mean, SMH. R-O-F-L. Bruce Wayne with them smooth moves. <laughs> My Negro. Uh, though, <laughs> doesn't seem like Wonder Woman's paying him any too much attention. Bruce Wayne is like gazing into her, into the side of her, her skull. Wonder Woman's looking at some type of cheesecake or something. I don't know. I was, I was going somewhere with that joke. And then it just fell. I just flopped. Um... <laughs> Is it me or does Batman look kind of look like Seth MacFarlane? I mean, uh, Bruce will kind of look like Seth MacFarlane. He has that weird radish look. A weird. He just has a weird look. He looks like a smoker. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I'm weird. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, a similar, something similar to this happened in uh, the, the Justice League animated series. Yeah, I think you guys know what I'm talking You guys definitely know what I'm talking about. When, um,. Uh, they met for the first time at this banquet thing. So, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe this has something to do with the actual story, which, of course, it, it has to, but, um, maybe it's just a nod to uh, the animated series. It's pretty cool. When we saw this picture before, I just want to point out that the ladies in the background <laughs> look like uh, one of those girls uh, in Magic Mike XXL. <laughs> it looked like one of the girls in the movie theater just looking at that Superman. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to point that out. But we already saw this before.
All right, here we go. This isn't the last thing that I want to get into because I really, really want to get into Wonder Woman's skirt. Um, but yeah, Lex Luthor with here, uh, obviously some type of wig. It looks like a wig. It may not be. Um, I guess <laughs> he made Lex Luthor a ginger, so I guess uh, people <laughs> like him even more than they already don't. No, that was me. Um, gingers don't have souls, no, I'm kidding. Um, his, the people have a problem with his, um, his clothes. They don't really go together with the decorum in the background, which I'm like, really, dude? Um, but I guess that gives him, it gives you kind of a sense on how, uh, creative, with quotation marks, he is, how, um, out there and artsy he is. He doesn't have to follow the rules. He doesn't care about uh, class, you know, um, like he cares about modern day class, but he doesn't care about all these other mother chuckers. Although he is a renaissance man, so he's into like, uh, old artifacts and stuff. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's not even in his house. Maybe he's not Wayne Manor. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. So let's get into Wonder Woman's skirt. <laughs> 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 up with that yeah it's all this this the costume and like skirt it's all of a sudden a glittery a glittery blue how gay uh not ah not gay because uh gay rights yeah it's a new generation of people we have to learn how to accept others for who they are but it's still so gay I kid, I kid, but seriously, if you have a scrawny Wonder Woman with a glittery skirt. Psh, not even gonna get into that. Get into it in the comment section down below. I mean, most of my viewers have left me now, I'm just... You know what I just noticed? I didn't wear my glasses at all during the video. I'm just sneaking myself. 